So Ant sent me this package all the way from Wales in Great Britain. It's a set of motorcycle shocks he sent in for a complete rebuild. So today I'm going to show you how to rebuild shock absorbers. The seals are blown and they're leaking oil. It's much easier to take apart if you remove as much pressure on the spring beforehand. So to do that, I'm going to set the preload where it's on the highest setting right now down here onto the lowest setting. And that takes quite a bit of pressure off the spring. Now we can release the pressure and drain the oil. Now before you loosen the oil drain screw, flip the shock upside down and let it sit for a few minutes. And that way the oil runs down and when you loosen this screw, when it relieves pressure, it won't spray oil all over the place. And loosen this screw about a quarter turn until it releases the nitrogen pressure. And with the screw out, then you can drain out the oil. That's some nasty looking shock oil. Now that the oil's drained and the shock is on the lowest preload setting, and then with one hand push down on the spring while you loosen the cap. And then remove the trim ring and pull the spring off of the strut. This rebound damper protects the shock when it bottoms out but this is pretty worn so I'm going to remove it and install the new style. The updated style has more surface area, it's progressive and has adjustable rebound. Badass. And then remove the spring collar. Before I remove this seal I'm going to clean up the strut body because the oil allowed all this dirt and grime to collect. And don't forget to clean the spring collar. Now that everything's clean, I can pry out the seal without worrying about more dirt falling down inside. Look how worn that is. No wonder it was leaking. I'm surprised that wasn't leaking more and use a small amount of assembly grade grease on the new seal. Then install the new seal. Make sure to press it in evenly all the way around so it seats properly. I need to pull the strut shaft out of the body so I can check the valve emulators. Okay, with the shaft out, you should be able to shake out the emulator. The valve body and the emulator is in great shape. I just need to clean it up before reassembly. Before tightening this lock ring on the valve emulator, I'm just going to apply a little bit of white Loctite. And then reinstall back into the strut body. Then reinstall the shaft. and then put on the sh So this shock has proper tensile strength and it looks okay on the outside, but if proper maintenance isn't followed, you can get dirt and rust buildup on the inside. It's important not only to clean and wax the outside when you're servicing your bike, but also to clean and wax the inside. Just use a length of bike floss to clean the inside of the spring without having to take the entire shock apart. You can do this when it's also on the bike. I just need to buff and polish this chrome trim ring. Badass. Then slip the shock absorber spring back over the strut body and, re and install the chrome trim ring. Then reinstall the rebound assembly and cap. And compress the spring with one hand and tighten the cap to 15 newton meters. 
The shock mount bushing is perished and falling apart, so I'm going to pop this out and install a new one. I use a piece of soft wood with a hole drilled in it, and that way I can safely drift out the old bushings without damaging the shock. That was ready to split in half. Then press in a new bushing. Badass. Then fill with 200 drops of suspension grade shock oil. Then pressurize the strut. Then reinstall the oil drain screw. I'll get these boxed up and shipped back to Ant along with five out of five Itchy Bun Moto stickers. Badass.